Hi, this is Dr. Jean-Michael Sabato with the Institute for Quantum Healing and Noetic Sciences. I'm a degreed holistic health practitioner with 29 years in the field of sports nutrition, nutritional counseling, and natural wellness and healing modalities. My work has included extensive focus on people with immune deficiencies, including HIV and AIDS, fibromyalgia, lupus, and neurological disorders, including Parkinson's and MS. Now, I'm here to share with you today and introduce you to an incredible scientific breakthrough in research and nutritional science and the very powerful protocol that resulted from this breakthrough, which has literally transformed my life and the lives of literally tens of thousands of men and women throughout North America, and which drug companies and their allies are scared to death that you'll hear about. You see, they have a major vested interest in keeping you ill and keeping you in the dark about nutrition, so they hope you'll never see this video. More on that in a minute, but let's start talking about our health. You know, the, the easy, comfortable, and relaxed lifestyle that was uh, once experienced by our ancestors no longer exists for us today. And we're not even aware of the amount of stress that our bodies are put under on a daily basis. The problem, our lifestyles have changed dramatically, but our bodies haven't. You see, this protocol addresses issues with one's adrenal function. Our Western diet, environmental factors, lifestyle, and stress frequently result in, in adrenal fatigue and, in the worst cases, in what we call adrenal exhaustion. Now, the adrenal glands sit over your kidneys, where they play a significant role in the body, secreting more than 50 hormones that are necessary for life. These hormones include epinephrine, adrenaline, uh, cortisol, DHEA, progesterone, and testosterone. Now, since they produce so many essential hormones, the adrenal glands are also responsible for many of the function that, that we need on a daily basis to stay alive and stay healthy, including energy production. They're responsible for, uh, for taking the carbohydrates, proteins, and fats and converting them in your blood to glucose for energy. Uh, they're, they're also responsible for fluid and electrolyte balance, fat storage, uh, energy again, as, like I said, and, and so forth. Now, signs of adrenal fatigue would include not being able to, to regulate your blood sugar well, maybe in the afternoon feeling, uh, uh, tending to be a little bit more fatigued or having difficulty falling asleep at night or having difficulty staying asleep at night. The adrenal gland impacts one hormone in particular, and that's cortisol. And that's, and cortisol is a very extremely, extremely important, uh, uh hormone for keeping your body's uh, systems in balance as well as protecting your cells. Cortisol controls the strength of your immune system. If there's too much cortisol, it weakens the immune system. It sets into motion all of the uh, causes and conditions necessary uh, to increase your susceptibility to infections, including uh, manifestation of, of diseases like cancer. Now, when there's uh, too little cortisol, that leads to an overactive immune system and autoimmune diseases results, such as lupus and fibromyalgia. Cortisol also normalizes your blood sugar. It helps to regulate your blood pressure. And if you have stressed or fatigued adrenals, it could lead to a deficiency in uh, the hormones epinephrine and dopamine. So in my efforts to, to restore uh, healthy adrenal function uh, to an optimal level for myself personally over the past 29 years, I've studied and evaluated literally hundreds of products, protocols, and research studies, always with, with very little uh, in the way of, of positive long-term results or promising results. You see, in May of 1983, I was attacked at gunpoint, beaten and sexually assaulted by four illegal immigrants in Hollywood, Florida. That attack resulted in my being exposed to and infected with HIV disease and eventually full-blown AIDS. Within a year, I was diagnosed with full-blown AIDS. I had a T-cell count in the double digits. And for much of the next 10 years, along with suffering several bouts of pneumocystis carinii pneumonia, cytomegalovirus, and toxoplasmosis, doctors were convinced that I wouldn't live to C24. Now, all of this is further complicated by the fact that I also have young onset Parkinson's disease, the same form of Parkinson's that struck the actor Michael J. Fox. So my body's dopamine and norepinephrine levels are dramatically lower than normal on a daily basis. Now, despite all my research, the, the solution to adrenal exhaustion that resulted from these two life-threatening diseases in my personal life continued to elude me. Over the years, I, I found products that, uh, that work temporarily. They, they may have worked for a couple of days or, or even a couple of weeks, but nothing clinically could be proven to have a long-term benefit. Well, today, what I want to share with you is something that has come to my attention very recently, which has transformed my life and the lives of many of those entrusted to my care in ways that I couldn't have even begun to imagine possible. The scientific breakthrough I want to share with you was originally discovered back in 1929 by a Canadian medical doctor by the name of Dr. John R. Davidson. 
a renowned cancer specialist, who discovered that when he allowed a fertilized chicken age to inc egg to uh, incubate for exactly nine days, on that ninth day, the egg would produce certain powerful proteins that would be helpful to human health. Now, one of these proteins is known as laminin. This protein, laminin, is the, the cell adhesion molecule. It plays a critical role in what we now understand to be fibroblastic growth factor number two. Now, there are videos available online which will explain in greater detail what Dr. Davidson was able to do by applying his theory and scientifically developing a protocol to help people tap into their body's remarkable ability to heal and rejuvenate itself. And I encourage you to, to, to take a look at those videos. I'd also love to be able to tell you some of the incredible results Dr. Davidson achieved with people who suffer from cancer and other debilitating diseases. But unfortunately, my hands are tied. We live in a society that is caught in an evil and unethical stranglehold by the partnership of big pharmaceutical companies and the regulatory agencies in our governments that tell us what we can and cannot say about natural healing. It's disgusting and it's disgraceful, but the FDA won't even allow me to tell you if a product that literally saved my life personally uh, might be helpful for you. You see, if we did that, if, if we shared something that was all natural that might be able to help someone, maybe someone living with a life-threatening disease like AIDS or cancer or Parkinson's disease might no longer be at the mercy of the drug companies, the hospitals, or, or pharmaceutical companies anymore. If everyday people began to get healthier, Think about it. The companies that make medication for muscle and joint pain, for fibromyalgia, for obesity, not to mention the billions made in this country on antidepressant medication and chemicals for children with ADHD and autism might suddenly no longer uh, be uh, the, the billion dollar companies that they are. And we may no longer be at the mercy of these drug companies and their outrageously expensive drugs, which are seldom more than a band-aid or, or a cover-up. You see, most drugs simply mask the system, the, the symptoms but they leave the, the cause to become worse. So that, guess what? You have to take more medications, new drugs, and more expensive treatments. And then there's side effects. And of course, when you get side effects, what do you do? You take more drugs, more chemicals, more expensive treatments. Now, what these uh, agencies and, and big pharmaceutical companies cannot do is they can't prevent me from sharing with you the scientific breakthrough that is the result of a discovery of Dr. John R. Davison's work, which combines the fibroblastic growth factor along with a shark cartilage protein and a protein from a legume. And this rediscovery is something I can tell you about with all certainty is going to revolutionize how we approach health and wellness over the next five to seven years. Now, in my work as a nutritional health expert, one of the things I learned very early on is that the majority of folks whose blood when analyzed uh, uh, in a laboratory uh, will show that it's very deficient in between three to five amino acids. The, and these amino acids are amino acids that are necessary for the maintenance and sustenance of cellular health and wellness. Your body needs a constant supply of free form amino acids, which, uh, which means amino acids that are not bound to other amino acids. Now there are 20 amino acids in nature which make up all of the proteins that comprise and sustain human life. The, the promise of, of, uh, of getting all of these proteins from the food that we eat uh, is, is something that we just cannot do. You see, the purpose of eating protein is to break down the, the proteins into free form amino acids so our bodies can assimilate them. But there are certain amino acids that, uh, that we just are not able to, to keep in balance from the foods that we eat in the Western world. In the Western world, we're faced with such devastatingly high stress, uh, chemical and environmental toxicity, a depletion of nutrients in the soil, and, and, and clinical depression that we're outstripping our body's ability to assimilate and replenish the amino acids lost on a daily basis. And so it's a losing battle, it seems. My clinical observation has demonstrated that most people are already moderately to severely deficient in as many as five of these amino acids, at least on a daily basis. Most people already need to supplement their protein intake so that their, their body gets these amino acids in balance and in a synergistically bioavailable form on a daily basis, especially those who might be trying to get healthier, so those who are vegetarians, those who are avoiding eating red meat. And so it seems to make sense to me and, and to those who are studying Dr. Davidson's research that by combining the fibroblastic growth factor number two with the smaller peptide amino acids from the sea and from the land, we would be able to, to powerfully impact cellular health and balance the body, enabling it to heal itself and restore homeostasis. So let me jump in here right now and point out that I'm not here to try and tell you that scientists have developed a product that cures anything. 
I'm not here to make any medical claims or offer therapeutic anecdotes, not only because the FDA and the FTC wouldn't permit such things, but because that's just not what we're talking about here, and that would be irresponsible. And as such, it's not our intention to, to uh, dispense medical advice in any way through this video. The information I'm giving you right now is strictly for informational purposes. But what I am here to do without any connection to a company, a product, or an organization is tell you that this science has proven that if you provide the body with what it needs on a, on a daily and readily available basis in a synergistic and complete form so that your body can do what it was meant to do, which is to sustain and restore balance and cellular health, then it makes sense to me as a scientist and a wellness professional that the body would have the best chance it ever could to be able to turn around and heal itself and begin to repair itself in ways that it was meant to do. Now we're talking about enabling your body to become more efficient at protein synthesis. And the key to making more protein, uh, making your body more uh, efficient at protein synthesis requires two principal constituent factors. The first of these is the presence of a full array of amino acids so that the liver can assimilate them and they can be passed on to our cells. The second principal constituent is the presence of growth factors in the tissues and bloodstream, which is something that no adult naturally has in their bloodstream unless they're using this protocol. Now, fibroblastic growth factors are, are like the sort of like the rebar that a construction worker uses to reinforce uh, their, their uh, the the, the uh, concrete, the strength of the concrete in their overall structure. It, it stimulates the production of unprogrammed stem cells, which can go to work directly wherever they're needed, sort of to to fill in the gaps wherever disease and imbalance exists in your body. Now, these fibroblastic growth factors enable cells to absorb and assimilate proteins. Uh, energy factors, immunoglobins, enzymes, neurotransmitters, and hormones into the body in a perfect balance. Doctors specializing in anti-aging medicine will tell you readily that the way to stay young is to improve protein synthesis in your body. If you can synthesize protein at the rate that you synthesized it when you were 18 to 20 years old, you would maintain the body of an 18 to 20 year old almost indefinitely. And that's what's been lacking in the, the world of natural health and wellness and in the medical community. The presence of these synergistic growth factors, which unlock the cell's ability to absorb these amino acids so that we can feel and see the benefits and so that the body can do what the body has always done naturally. Now, what I've begun to personally experience for myself and for a number of people who trust my recommendations for their health is an approach that addresses both of these critical constituent components at once, amino acids, and the growth factors that we just talked about. This approach is without question the most incredible and effective protocol I've ever seen in more than 20 years as a full-time holistic health practitioner. And I would never be without it again, out it again and, and no one in my household wants to be without it now either. Since 1983, I've personally worked with and evaluated thousands of products, and I've served on the advisory board for a number of companies ranging, ranging from, uh, from homeopathic treatments to nutritional science companies, quantum physics to nootropics to raw food diets and veganism. Nothing has been able to compare to this, what this approach to wellness is doing in the lives of people that we see with, you know, such imbalances as fibromyalgia, Alzheimer's disease, chronic inflammation, muscle and joint pain, chronic fatigue, uh, immune deficiencies, environmental toxicity, depression, anxiety, cardiovascular challenges, and on and on. Now, I've studied the 11 clinical studies based on this research, and along with my personal team, which includes several medical doctors, a sports nutrition specialist, and former Olympic uh, coach, a nurse practitioner, and several homeopaths, I'm here to tell you that as a result of this breakthrough research, it's now possible to naturally support the body's production of serotonin, epinephrine, and dopamine, three of the principal neurotransmitters that your body needs in order to maintain a sense of well-being, focus, calm, and vibrance. That alone is significant when you consider that 19.5% of all Americans suffer from clinical depression and that depression is the leading cause of disability worldwide. In fact, depression is the number one disability for children worldwide, and this is the first approach that I've seen that's entirely safe for children to follow as well as adults. Now, these statistics come from the World Health Organization, not something that we're just making up here. Now, what we're talking about is a, a truly unique approach that enables your body to optimize neurotransmitter levels, improves your focus, your mental clarity and brain function, which decreases the unhealthy levels of cortisol in the bloodstream, reduces st reducing your stress levels, reducing inflammation, and the tendency to binge eat. 
So think about it. What person do you know who doesn't want to be able to think more clearly, feel younger, eliminate stress and anxiety while their body returns to a healthy weight? I can't think of anyone in their right mind who would say no to this.